When experience drives the new health economy, when, how and where do you fit? The future of healthcare is becoming a reality. A world where data and technology drive newer care. Better care. Care that is more human. This future is within touching distance. But are we ready for it? Because empowering care teams and patients to better manage and prevent disease requires not just products, but new services that can be delivered anytime, anywhere. To achieve these better outcomes, to grow in this future, organizations must adapt their operating models to meet the demand for convenient, customized and connected care. Take any waiting room in any hospital, like this one. After months of frequent abdominal pain, Alicia waits for a colonoscopy. After her hip operation, Joan sees the doctor to discuss her painful recovery. And after three recent asthma attacks, Jack needs a new prescription. Today, these people have good reasons to be here, but in the future, none of them need to be here at all. As their current health journeys are transformed by advances from the future, consider what changes you must make to thrive in this changing ecosystem. The number of younger patients with colon cancer is increasing. Alicia doesn't know it yet, but by the time she gets the colonoscopy that identifies her tumour, her diagnosis could be more serious. Currently, she experiences painful symptoms but she either fails to follow them up or she postpones her doctor's visits. In the future, how can Alicia's diagnosis and treatment be easier, more intuitive and less invasive? Sooner than expected, implanted nanobots will sequence emerging cancer cells, detecting her illness before symptoms occur and alerting her. Based on the results, Alicia's care team will prescribe a personalised drug to treat or even cure the cancer. The scale of this information transfer will reroute the healthcare experience. Without these new technologies, Alicia could spend weeks waiting for a treatment that has a lower probability of success and is imprecise. In the future, that precious time between diagnosis and starting therapy will be next to nothing. Artificial intelligence will use the data transmitted by the nanobots to develop a custom prescription that effectively targets her tumour with the fewest side effects. While her cancer is being treated, Alicia will live and work normally, confident about the benefits of her treatment. She will be empowered by her care. For many asthma patients and their doctors, it's challenging to know when symptoms will get worse. How can organisations help? Jack doesn't consider that he is likely to have an attack today, but a series of events will unfold that could mean an emergency trip to the hospital. Even though he feels great now, he should take a puff on his inhaler before leaving home. What if the right data and services worked with the inhaler to prompt Jack to be more proactive? In the future, ambient sensors in Jack's home, plus a smart patch that monitors his breathing activity, will alert Jack when he needs to reduce the risk of an attack. This seems minor, but it could be an important nudge, helping Jack stay on his medicine keeping him healthy and giving his dad peace of mind. 
but behavioural changes alone won't fully eliminate Jack's asthma risk. Today, the odds are stacked against him. The day's pollen, pollution and cool air mean that without immediate intervention, there is an 80% chance he will have an attack at school. But solutions are on the horizon that will help. A bioelectronic device will monitor the inflammation of his airway and emit energy pulses to reduce it, drastically reducing Jack's risk of an attack. Meeting with her care team to discuss her upcoming hip implant surgery, Joan is unaware that she will suffer post-operative pain because of the implant. What if she had both a better implant and better rehab services after surgery? One day, a novel implant will be printed from Joan's cells. It will precisely replicate her original hip, meaning there is less wear and tear on the implant and less pain for Joan. Sensors in the implant will measure how the hip functions and Joan's movements to help optimize her care. These insights will help Joan stay active, improving her physical and mental health. But the new implant is just one piece of Joan's return to full health. A one-size-fits-all approach to physical therapy can cause further injury or frustration and anxiety about the pace of recovery. What if Joan were offered a tailored service designed to keep her motivated during her recovery? What if an AI-based physical therapy program synced with Joan's implant and used the real-time data to coach her to perform the exercises correctly? The AI charts her progress and uses incentives that encourage her to keep training. These solutions have the potential to transform patients' lives. Smart devices that continuously stream data will provide a new level of care personalization. Smart therapies that join genetic and sensor data with lifestyle advice will be safer and more effective. Smart systems that monitor symptoms and adjust care in real time will allow clinicians to care for people in non-medical settings. These solutions will make it easier for patients to stay on medicines and maximise health. Leaders in this new world will invest in new skills that make them hyper-connected and human-centred. They must ask and answer these key questions. How will you use technology to make healthcare more human? How will your operating model adapt to deliver products and services anywhere and at any time that they are needed? Who will you partner with to access the data you don't own but need? How will collaborations work in an interconnected ecosystem? How will you bridge trust gaps and build mutual value together? When will you be able to give others the confidence that your practices are sustainable and generate long-term value? And ultimately, when the human body is the biggest data platform, how will you create value?